In days gone by, there used to be antis in poker, where every player put some money in to get the pot started. In Texas Hold'em Poker, this has been replaced with two forced bets to get the pot moving. These are the small blind and the big blind. Here we can see that Sai is on the dealer button. Boris is in the small blind and Michael is in the big blind. Boris is forced to put in 1,000 and Michael is forced to put in 2,000. The big blind in this case is the amount it will cost to continue on with their hand. It would be unfair to the same player to be in the blinds for the entire game. So the button is passed around the table after each hand. So in the next hand, Boris would be on the dealer button, Michael would be on the small blind, and Claire would be on the big blind. Every player has their turn of being on the button and so forth. The easiest way to understand this principle is that when you get your first two cards, or your whole cards, there is already a bet in play. At this point, each player has one of three choices. A player can fold their cards at no cost, call the bet, in this case 2,000, or raise the bet. In a limit game, you would make it 4,000. In a no limit game, you would make it 4,000 or any more above. At this stage, if the pot has been raised to 6,000, the small blind and the big blind have the option to remain in the pot. Boris, who is in the small blind, has already put in 1,000. If he decides to fold, he would lose his 1,000. Boris could always call the bet, which would cost him another 5,000. Or he may also re-raise the bet if he wishes. Michael is in the big blind and has the same options, except for him to call, it would only cost him another 4,000. But if he was to fold, he would have already lost his two. This all sounds confusing, but it is a very simple concept once you grasp it. Let's have a look at another scenario. At the beginning of the next hand, the button moves to Boris. Michael is in the small blind and puts in 1,000. Claire is in the big blind and has to put in 2,000. The dealer deals in a clockwise rotation and deals each player two cards. Each player now has one of three choices. They can fold their cards at no cost, they can call the 2,000, or they can raise the bet to a minimum of 4,000. The pot hasn't been raised at all, so Claire in the big blind position has only two options. She has already got 2,000 in the pot, so she has no need to fold. She can see a flop for free if she wants. The other option is that she can raise the bet. Again, the raise is a minimum of 4,000.